and maybe another beer, and then we'll make our way down to the docks, ready for half past three. And um, we'll see you down there if you want to follow us. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Well, here we are. And that's the lake, more so. Just over there, Scanderbog. Quite a bit of water here. One or two pegs. I think Tony will be making his way in a bit. Morning, Tony. Where are we today? Where are we today, friend? We're on the Silkebog Lake. Just keep, just keep himself steady though, then he, he's nice and focused, go on. 10 to 7 in the morning, sun's not quite up yet, but we just passed a place saying it's 19. 19 degrees at 7 o'clock in the morning? Yes. Where's Barrett? He's just gone having a look to the pegs, what we've pre-baited. Okay. We're hoping to get some bream today. Right, go and have a look at him, eh? So go and have a look at him now. Bye bye. bye. Here we are on Silkeball Lake. Very plain, with it, very bream and roll. No, I know that. Yeah. Hold him up for me, Barry. Let me have a little look at him. Can you get him? <coughs> we on Barry, the swing tip. Swing tip, yeah. Worm as well, Raylan. And the worm? Yeah. How are you doing, Tony? Well, not so bad, a few green, but... Barry's literally giving them like gudge in here. I believe you've had the only Danish on the rough, is that correct? Thomas Ruff, I've had. A Thomas Ruff. The only one in the only Denmark. The only one in the lake, I think. You shot him a few good in there. Just you, it up. you managed it, didn't you? I managed it. Oh, and I think Barry's here again. You missed it, Barry. Okay, sign off now, see you later. You alright? Yep. No, Raymond. Just hit one. What's that? I'm a worm, that Barry. Worm? <laughs> tea? Have a look where tea is. Alright, Barry. I'm not so bad, tea. Have you got it yet? Well, I will do. Double worm, that bad. Catching better on worm? Yep. Oh, yeah, I'll wait till you bring it in a bit more. You're fishing nice, though, T. Not have a wrist like Joe, man. You got him on there, Barry? Not yet. You got your back to me. Here? Uh, yes, yeah, let's have a look. You can hold it up in a minute. Let's have a look. Nice bream that tea. Beautiful. Very nice. Another one for tea. Another one. How many have you done now? I don't know, I must have about ten now. Uh oh. And the day's young. Okay. I'll have another cast tea. Alright Barry, you still catching? Pull out of it. Out of it. So I'm in a little minute now, waiting for our barbecue. Yeah. Let's see how you're going on. Well, you got on the feeder now, Barry. Yeah. Why is that any reason, like? Right, I've got your tip there now. He's topping his swim up for his barbie. Have you got all maggots or worms? Worms. I 
You can see it there, don't buy that, you're tightening up. Tightening up. And I'm, uh, I managed to get in, just the bed in focus. Oh, I saw that then, yes. Are you in? Yeah. Is it the Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, yes, nice curve on the rod. Lift him up for me, and then hold him nice and steady. Right, hold him, hold him nice and steady. There, and I'm coming in. Let's have a little look. Have a look, Barry. Come to the right. And let's say hello to him. How big? Pound and a half, too. Pound and a half, too. Okay. Only about 40. Right. <laughs> have a little pan around and have a look at the lake. Some them ducks here somewhere. There they are. See? And here on the floor is our barbecue. Ready for the sausage in a minute. What have we got here? Oh! It's Tony! Hello! Hello! How's the fishing today? Very nice. Ready for our barbecue. Catching plenty. Oh, plenty of fish now. They've all moved in now. Very good. Okay, sign off. Bye bye. Bye now. Hello, Tony. Hello, Raymond. Well, it's six o'clock now. Is that all? Near the time, another hour and a half or so on. How do you think you've done then? I've not done so bad, we've slowed up lately now. Barry's still in the nest. Is he? Yep. And what, uh, How have you done yourself? Not too bad at all, not too bad at all. Probably about 80 pounds, something like that, you know. Give or take 50. I've got some little loot now, see what Barry's up to. Hello, Barry. Let's just have a look at the camera for one second. Can you drag yourself away? Running all around them. How are you doing? About £250, pounds, it's still going. I see you've got two keep nets in now. Yeah, one full. Doing the other. Oh. I'm in an aquarium here, Raymond. Well, we'll have a little walk out to you, shall we, and have a look at what you're doing. That way knows. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what happened then? The tip went up again. This is the second 50 pounds. Hey, do you know, you're a nice angler, you are. I know I am. You cost me enough catch, young. <laughs> it's only a... Where is it? It's a child. Oh, there he is. Only a little under. Little bream, boy. Yeah, little bream, all. So let's have a look at him for camera. I'm about. Again, then, one, this is a single worm. Single Joe. Yeah, 14 Luke. 14's panel pin. Series 14, I bet. Yep. He's prolific here, Raymond. Is that the word? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's superb. Let's just watch his technique then. Let's just hold the case in the lake, see if we can. Oh, there it goes, yes. There's a tip there now. Right on there. Let's just. Uh... Well, we're going to get a bite for us now, but not disappoint our viewers. Oh, it's out there waiting. Yeah, there's one there, I think. Oh, yeah, there was a little bit of a lift then, was there? Yeah, just a touch. Are they actually smacking it right to the top, as we say in uh, fishing terms? Yep. Uh, just a slight touch then, up he goes. We're on like three pound bottom now. Yeah. Five pound main line. Oh, it's ain't it. We missed it though. Oh, we missed that one. It just dropped down as you. Just struck. Oh, Tony's into one. 
Just take a look at the trophy, Raymond. How is it? Oh, yes, yeah. bending the ice over Mr. Fields. Where is it? Here she comes now. Here she comes. I'm trying to find her. There she comes. There she comes. There she Coming on the water. Just hold her up for us when you get older. Let's have a look. Coming along the water. Oh, she's oh, prolific. Steady, steady, steady. Steady. It's interesting with fish. Steady. She's coming. There you go. See the Raymond? Just caught him. Oh, beautiful. This was just a... Okay, we'll sign off showing out, lads. Yeah. We'll have a look later and we'll just yeah, we'll see the net. Hello there, Raymond. You seem to have a big fish, though. Have a look. It's all in front. Okay. Is it going, Tony? Uh, I think it's going, Tony's got all over there. And what are you doing, Tony? Just landed one for you while I'm whipping round. Look at it, pulling it off there. Go on. Whoops. Have you got it? Have you got it? Have you got it? Go round to Raymond. Have you got it, Raymond, yet? You've got to come half an hour. Look at this. Have you got it, Raymond? Yeah. Have a look. Just a little skim of this, Barry. Can't move yet. Just let Raymond get his hook out. Well, he's managing anyway. <laughs> I'm it right where I want to hold it. Oh. Okay, I'll move around to Johnny now. There you are, little skimmer, Barry. Not bad, that, T. In you go. What have you done today, Johnny? Not a clue, Barry. I think we'll have to empty these nets in a bit. The fly full. <laughs> well, we'll sign off. We'll have a look when we're emptying the nets after that, eh? Yes, we'll have a look after. OK, half past seven. Tony and Barry now just pulling Tony's net out. Oh, none of our catch at all for the first day. No, 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 it's catch Tony. What do you reckon, Tony, there, lad? There's well over 100, actually, now. You could over 100 pounds there. Easy. Yeah. It's, it's too Tony. Well over. Now, stream. Okay, sign off now until we get on back. Go to left. No, 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 off to do my net. I'm doing the camera. Phone. You enjoyed it, Raymond. Oh, aye. 60 pound there, Raymond. Enjoyed it. Spent along on the Wagner, I think, Tony. Yeah. You're going to fall to these, Raymond? Yeah, you are, we Sign off now while we get on back. There you know, here's the boys. I reckon he's had a good catch today. See what he's got. See his first net. Oh, I have a few pounds there. Oh, Fighting yeah. bit. Huh? Fighting bit, Danny Slabs. Hey, I've heard of them, Barry. Very happy with them, Barry. They're there over there. Oh, they're good, eh? They're going to come back up there. Anyway, here's our, um, <laughs> here's our van we're using oh. for the trip. Morning. Oh, just, Tony there, just coming out. Morning, Tony. 
Morning, Raymond. How's it going? Are you quite happy with the holiday so far? Yes, I'm champion. Nice day to fish today, well, all lad, Barry especially. Yeah, a lot of fish today. Just take a look around the ramp here. Um, there's our van we've got. Coop Brothers from Everton. Nice van. Panning round now, this is a forecourt. All the big vans over there. So the lady lives. A bit of sunshine there. Coming back here and again. That's it. Nice, nice digs. Well, it's still Monday morning. This is the view from the digs. These are Christmas trees. Sell them, this is the drive. Sell the Christmas trees to Great Britain. Just pan round now. These are the gardens at the back. Have a walk. Oh yes. Phony array. Morning lads. Lord. All right, Barry. What, what are we doing? Just running the bag of top now instead of casting. Yeah, we've all got off there. Well they're beautiful. It's the first morning's run off that. Probably about Three pints, sir. Another pint there. Probably about half a gallon of time we've done this morning. Oh. The nets are out there, Tony, drying. Drying, drying, never did this smell. Four nets, they were full yesterday. They're full. <laughs> That's what these two of yours, Barry. <laughs> Where did you get yesterday, Barry? I don't know, 200 odd pound, whatever. 70 bream, was it? 70 bream plus roach. We've had a slight accident though, haven't we? Yeah. This is only one of our tubs, this one. We've lost a bait. Two pints of maggot. The lot of these things happen. There's the lady of the house there behind you, Barry. Span round. Where is she? Her dog. Who's the fella? I'll never know, me. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's a man old beast. <laughs> I know there's a beast though, we're not arguing oh. with that. Here we are, Barry. All ready for action. Bring them up there, T. All ready for action. You are now in the accommodation. Not in, the, in your camera case, is it? No. Tony with the casters, washing them out. Just washing them off. Good half a gallon there, Raymond. Very good. Where am I here, Tony? I'm in the hall, aren't I? In the entrance. In the hallway. You're just piping into the bathroom now. Goes into the bathroom. A quick walk through into the. Who lives in a house like this? This is the living room. It's beef sauce. I can hear some rustling in the kitchen. Hello, Barry. Morning, Ben. <coughs> How you doing? Uh, you doing our breakfast, lad? Yeah, with a pig, some young chickens. Very good. New beans. Oh. There's a the cake. And some bread. You seen this bread? There you go, that's all it is. Very interesting, what is it? Syrup bagger. Listen, listen to that. It looks like an house brick. That's what you call bread over here. <laughs> it's like an Irish soda loaf. An Irish soda loaf. The wallpaper's not very nice, is it? It's a bit Danish. Okay, we'll wander slowly back out. I right, think we'll say adios. Next stop, Gooden. Here we are now, down at the marina on dry. Focused in there on Tony's floor. 
As usual, it's not doing very much. <laughs> no, we've had a few bream and we're doing quite well. Sun's shining. We'll have a look around at the place where we are. That's the River Goodon coming in there. We're in like a bit of a bay where the river comes in. Have a look around now. Are you in there, Tony? Yes. Oh yes, he's there. Oh, oh he's pulled out again. He's pulled out. <laughs> he has his doing that when he's on the film. He's pulled Where's Barry? Well, we've got our new shot, 14 feet. Yeah. Hello, Barry, how are you doing? Not bad, Raymond. We're starting to catch a few. I think so, like this. Oh, that's very good. It must be a bream. Yeah. Oh, there it is. On the waggler today. Yeah, for a change. Nice bream. Notice where it is again, so many. Move me up three down. It's a lovely place this. Here's my stall here, set out nicely. Wanna throw these Raymond? Wanna throw now these bream? Look at them. Beautiful stamp of fish there. Have a look Barry, I'll just hold them a minute. See them? Oh, all of them's what we need all day then. Oh, you're in now? Yeah, just splash. That's the way it goes, <laughs> make them swim. Very nice. <laughs> Sign... You're down a hunting now. Sign off for now, right. Look, it's dinner time. What are you having there Raymond? Beef and tomato pot noodle. Good God. With tomato sauce. Oh. Oh, no, no yeah. dinner, eh? Oh, yeah. It's a new 25 past three in the afternoon. Where's Tony? Alright, Barry. What are you having? Same I'm thing. The we always do things in threes. Where's man? Yours is down in the box, is he? Oh, well. What do you think of the pontoon? Very nice, very comfortable. This is not bad either. And Bream have just moved off, so we'll put another five or six balls in, we'll have our dinner and we'll come back. Okay then, sign off. Well, here we are, Tuesday, on the River Gooden, and here's Barry now on the centre bin. How's it going, Barry? Just got on the centre pin, yeah. You have to speak up, it's a bit... Uh... I've just got on the centre pin. Yeah. It's another bomb. How many bright bream have you had? Oh, no, about 15. Yeah, plenty of roach as well. Probably a few more. We'll probably get a few more bream later on as day goes on, eh? Yeah. I haven't had one yet, I've lost a couple, but... Some superb roach, every time it's a roach. I'm going to quick loot round. Very nice. The rivers. Have a little walk, see if we can. Uh, I don't know if we'll get very slow, Tom, from up here. Very swim. Very nice bay over there. Beautiful. Okay, come back to you after. Here we are now. This is the River Gooden. These are little bays, what you have to throw in for the bream. Rivers flowing, quite a num number of knots. Let's pan right now. There's a little bay, see, coming up to it now. The bay what Barry's fishing in. Getting his bream as usual. There's another bay there. One higher up. There we are. 
Oops. There's Barrett. Got in there, like you do on the green, keep the line off the float. Into the bay. Come around now. Oops, who's that behind him behind there? A lot of smoke. He's smoking Juliet. That's all he was. There he is, Raymond. Oh, he's not smoking Juliet. What are you doing there, Raymond? Cooking our dinner again. What are we having? Pepper steak, barbecue. Not far off being done either. Well, what do you think, Raymond, of uh, today's fishing, up to now? Very good. Excellent roach fishing. Very catch of the blue bream. It's down about a foot, otherwise I think we would all caught a few bream. I think there's only me and you struggling for the bream, isn't there? Struggling for the bream today, it's only here. I'm enjoying myself though, catching the roach. So. <laughs> Just have a look at Barry now. Oh yeah, I made it down. There you are. <laughs> Hiawatha and Chingus Chute. There they go. That's Barry Swim. There's Barry casting in again. Now Barry, how's it going on? How are you coping with the system? Okay. I find it difficult really. Did you miss a bite then? Yeah. I think they're out. Yeah. It's fishing sweet corn to all Ah. There's the bear, he's fishing in there, over there. We'll just watch his, his legs hit the water. Oh, there you have it. There we go, struck again, missed another fish. We'll come back to you later on. We'll leave you here on Raymond's peg. How's it going, Raymond? It's more green, but it's only with roach and Way really on there. Feet gone and all open. It looks like a nice peg this. After this, how this wind stays then? You got that one? I have, yeah. Right. Zoom is it's coming in. Very nice. Millions of them. How many have you got? Oh, I don't know, I threw a little back now. I'm just doing a bit net now. Keep fishing that through over there for bream, but it's very breamy, but it's not showing at all. I've had a couple on, but I've lost them. That's all I've seen of them. Love them. I'll let you cast in, it was if you can fully float down. How are you doing? Still catching bream? Yeah, I've had another three or four. You're not staying though? No, they're leaving. Bim, just don't think now exactly open. Missed it? I have, yeah, sir. Hello. Your wind keeps turning you slightly. Just not helping me a great deal. Four swan loafer. The four swan loafer? Yeah, I'll put three swan on it. And there you are, yeah. Just hold it. Have another look.
Alright, we'll go in a minute, bro. Wind deep off. Got him, Raymond? Went, I missed him. Okay. I'll sign off now, I want to see how tea's going on. Alright. Well, he's wearing Tony's pig. What are you on, Tony? I'm on this heavy stick float, Barry. We know Bream. I've won that, it's all on a skimmer. A plenty big rope. On the stick float. I want to throw these up. Can you see him going down, Barry? Yeah, I just got it there. Is that a bite, Tony? That was a truck. You lost it, I lost it there. I'll have to come back and have a look again next time. Have you got him? Oh, oh that's marvellous. Look at the rod. Oh, he's. Fishing very good there, isn't it? Looks like a professional. There we go. What a stamper rope he's in. Literally one a throw. Let's have a look at them when you bring it in. One a throw, Barry. Let's have a look at them. There you go. Oh, you see him? Yeah, they're beautiful. One a throw. You like the venue then, do you? Yes, very nice. He's not shown him this peg yet, so, so I'll just keep on the rope. Okay. Where are we going tomorrow? Well, wherever you want it. Where do you want to go? I'm not bothered. I'll just stand up, see if I can see your float. When you cast it in. Anytime now, sorry. Anytime now. Oh, Mr. Oh, Tony. Well, I'll sign off. See you later. See you later. Right. Now then, Tony. All right, Baz. Have you gone on today? The one bream has given a net full of, net full of good rope. We're we'll raising about 40 pounds of roach. Do you think you can beat him? That's why he's throwing them back. Look at them, Bass. Yeah, Barry. Have a look. Oh, it's a nice net, that Tony. What do you get them on? Sweet corn. Well done, corn. Beautiful oh. fish. Good for skimmers. Bream. One bream, go see. Beautiful fish, Barry. Beautiful. There you go. There's one of the little babies. Dog roach. Come here, some look. All them are nice then, T. Okay. Well, see, you see you later. See you later. Okay, here we are at Barry's Peg. I put mine back for what they were worth, about 40 pounds of rope. Tony that he's done. Oh, they're splashing again. Oh, a nice net of fish here, Barry. Another bream. A lot of roads. Hold yeah, one up for us, Barry. Nice fish, them two on it. Hold, right. hold one up for us, Barry. Hold it up, T. Turn it around. Barry, you're on camera. Hold one up, lad. Oh. Enjoyed yourself? Yeah, it's been brilliant. Just a minute. Tony, hold the front of the camera. Slap that. That's it. There you go. Go on. Yeah. A quick look. Okay, starting off now. Finish the day on the good. Here we are now, Wednesday morning, there's all this stuff, ready for action. 
We're on Scanderboard Lake this morning. This is Barry Peg, Egg 14. This is a match length. This is my peg, 13, all pegged out. There's Raymond, side of the trees. In case he takes shot. It's fun right now, there's the lake we're fishing. Beautiful. All the equipment here, just unloading now, ready for action. There's the peg 30. 30 someone on that point there where Thomas Pickering was, 300 and pound. And that area there. Beautiful there. There's Raymond now, he's sorting some worms out. Now Raymond, morning. Morning. What do you think of today? I think doing our resort and then we'll, uh, we'll get a nice weight together. We'll draw them in really close, you know. I went straight on a waggler this morning. Oh. And then I'm going to pitch about big rod length out on waggler and just keep dropping a ball in close and then we'll drop in on the pole. Get a few worms. Put your bag up to the weather. There's Barry now, just setting the platform out. He's always the first, that's why he gets all the fish. No, Barry! Morning, Tony. What do you think this morning here? Fishing pool this morning, Tony. Oh, yeah. Pool to hand. Then, uh, Hopefully everything will, uh, never come in I'm all right now. Well, we'll see how we go on then, later on. Signing off now. We're going to get the bread feed here, don't we? Well, it makes it 50 pound up. Have a lot going in this morning. I'm going to go six metres to hand, don't we? Oh yeah. Just a minute, let's have a look at him. Oh yes. Got that one. That's a little. Is this a pipe bung that, Barry? No, it's a green floor to it. Can it fill them? Should be catching. Let's have a look. Get You've had quite a lot up to now, haven't you? Not so bad, I think you've emptied the legs, mate. Well, there's only this one now, I've got to empty that's it. What do, you, what do you think of uh, the country up to now, Barry? It's beautiful, isn't it? It's a fabulous country, isn't it? It's beautiful. Would you go back to Ireland? No. Never. Not after this. I'm doing the pound here in hours. Because I've got the bait, did not What's his mix this morning? What's he throwing in there? Brown. 75% brown. 25% white. Nice. Half a bag of that. Are well, you putting the lot in? Everything's going in. Look this week, so it's a little bit of Full bag of barley in this is roll to on it. I thought the barley was for broth. Oh it's not it's for fishing. Coming to show you the barley, don't it? Yeah, we'll have a look at it while you're there. Yeah, no, Alright, Barry, what? This is a barley thorny. Soaked overnight. 
coloured, touching eels. And you'd absolutely love it. Just catching the other day on double barley, believe it or not. Bring a throw in that marina. Absolutely slaughtered them. Doesn't come off the hook. Oh, it tastes like. Tastes like barley. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to get down to the swim now, Tony, fill it in, and we'll see where we go from there. Okay. okay, then, we'll see you later on. See you later. Here we are now, here's Raymond's peg. You can pick that up. Peg 12. There we are. Cheese ball, that must have been uh, when the festivals was on. The sections. We'll just have a look at Raymond now. See what he's up to. Hi Raymond. Hello, Tommy. What are you up to today? I'm putting my pole rig up first. About seven metres to hand. I'm just going to start on the wagon. I'm going to have to go in. Pole will lay some. You can see I've got ducks for company again. Ah. Oh. A nice peg. Yeah. You'd be struggling with that pole there, Raymond. I won't be happy. Look, <laughs> right. little out. Ignorant, that's some people leave. We'll have that tidied after. I'll show you the rig I'm going to be using, Tony. Okay then. Six gram cruncher. An eight hoop to five pound line, seven meters to one. Oh. Okay. Okay. And what, uh, and what do you think about this country, Raymond, towards Ireland? Do you really want me to comment on that? Yes, if you don't mind, we'd like to hear what. Uh, all your comments. Well, you know my feelings going about Thailand, I've made it quite clear. The track's good, but I go away from the fishing. As far as I'm concerned, Ireland's gone. As far as fishing goes. A tangle though, it's only on the winder. So we have it sorted though. Alright, we'll see you later on Raymond. Okay. Hello there, mate. Morning Raymond. How are you doing now? Not too good. Not too good. Oh I'm catching one of all down there, that's weak on. Well, no, not move in. I think it says some do. Yeah. Quite a few, but. Found the long pole. A pole. Let's scan them all, let's have a quick look around. Beautiful lake, can't quite see it properly. Have to move behind Barry. There's the town over there in the distance. Beautiful. Okay, well, I'll walk now to see how Tony's getting okay. Hello, Tony, how are you doing? Alright, not doing so bad. You said, well, you've just gone straight through what? Five pound? Five pound, I've just got snap. Yeah, I've just put a fresh hook on. There's some monster bream out there, I'm telling you. Uh, not so bad, a couple of brims, plenty of Yeah. They won't move in though, will they? Not move in at all. No, they won't. Anyway, I think uh, I'm going to put a bit of bread feed in and then we'll have some dinner. You've got one or two today, haven't you? Oh, here we are, about 25, 30 bream now, some good ones. There we are, double sweet calm. Have a little look, see if we can get on that. Oh, just quite, can't quite see it. Okay then, sign off, see you later. Hi right. Raymond, how's it going on? Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Plenty of fish. 
25, 30 bream and a lot of roach. Nearly on the on the bomb. Double sweet corn. Because of this sun they won't peak them in, so gotta go out after them. See you getting a nice tan. Yeah, a bit too hot. Burning me. Oh, I've missed him. That one. You missed him, Raymond? I did, yeah, a bit of ground bait on me real. I'll get the next one for you. Beautiful place. It's good toy sound, Ray. Yep. Swing tip. See that then? Left. Yeah, Fish are very slow because of the sun. They go right out in the water for them. Very warm, Tony. A bit too warm for fishing. I don't think you'll get a bite on this cast. There you go. No, you don't. Missed it, Raymond? Yes. One of them spells. We'll catch you later on when you get one. Okay. Here he is now, son of Ragnar. Hello, okay. uh, Barry. Here we are barren now on the quiver tip. Very thick. A nice ripple coming on the water now, as you can see. Just wasps up wasp away. It's infested with wasps. Keep them off me. Can you only have one sting today, don't Yes, I've been stung on the neck. They sucked it out like a like a bream. There we are, eh, and Barry? Again. I'll see you later. Okay. Raymond on the pole here. There you can see his float heat.
Steve Berry's broke his pole, Tony. Yeah, he broke his pole. Thinks he's whiplash. There you go. Right to the ante. Pull between the legs. Likes to pull between his legs, Raymond. And there you go. Nice bream tea. Every egg of the Blood blush. Oh, what's in the home? Yes, go on, Raymond. A little bit more in there, Tony. There it is again. Bush, there you have it. Right on top of its head. It's a bit then, Tony, see it? Yeah, it's a little dip there for Raymond. Any minute now. And there you go. There you go. Skimmer. Skimmer bird. Right to the end. Just zoom in on that little skimmer there. For Raymond. And into the net he goes. Well, here we are. Raymond's had a good day. Slaughtered them today, Raymond, aren't you? Well. So you slaughtered them today. There you go. Yeah. Bream, bream, bream. Roach. Bream, bream. It's a lovely net of fish, that. Are you happy with that now? I am. I just wish I could get on like that last two or three hours with it coming out time then. On that pole. Right, Tony, come on. I'm not going to camera over that. We'll move on to the next peg. Have you ever torn this peg? Have you gone on tea? I've not done so bad, Barry. I've got two cards there. Yeah. I'm going to the neck again. <laughs> I'm only there go. I say I think a couple of times just flashed off on it. There we go. We tried to cod Raymond but it's actually what you're saying mate. Good net of fish that tea. What weight have you got? I've never seen that anyone. Did you get them on that same line that was on pole? On that full thing? Did you go out where I was on Bob? Absolute tibberine, plenty of tibberine, some good roach. How hey, long did you get them? Yeah, well, it's on that pole there. Look, just a bottom of that ledge, you know. We'll return these now, Barrett, to fight what? another day. Okay, T, we'll move on to my peg now. Catch him again tomorrow. Here we are on Barrett's peg. We have to focus him in there. Not a bad net, Barry. Not bad, you can't rumble. No, not at all. Rumble is weak. It's about 60. I believe you broke your pole, haven't you? Yeah, one of the sections is cracked. What happened there then? I think I caught one of these reeds and it was casting out. You're not supposed to do that. No, it doesn't help, does it? Anyway, we'll sign off now for today at Skanderborg Lake on the Nesset section, pegs 12, 13, and 14. So we'll come and try again tomorrow. Bye. Well, yeah, here this morning. She's not so late. There you go. I like on stages this morning. Let's have a look at the lads. 
there they go. The stage out. Barry in the middle, on him behind that stump. Raymond on the end there. There's a piece of half a tree in there, see, just to stabilise the staging. Let's see how the boys are going on. Morning, lads! Morning, Tony. Gonna be a nice day again. Morning. Morning, Raymond. Hang on, let's get myself up with the mirror, Well, what do you think? Another beautiful lake. This is not so. Apparently it holds good stock to bream and roach to make a change. And also all tents. And as you can see, the breeze is just starting, it's coming in towards us, which should uh, bode well for the afternoon, get the breeze coming in. Hang on, I just told you, I'll just spin it because I've got the nick in my backside. Here's Bob done, with the inspector ran on. The inspector ran on this morning, Tony. Cooling the brain down then, Barry, eh? Yeah, that was the reason. If I've more brains, I'll be on here. I'll be seasick in an hour. Well, we'll see how we go on later. Well, Tony, what's that you just caught? A nice roach, Barry. Beautiful fish, look at it. Oh, look at it. What's a beauty, that. Goes on the slider. You're on the slider? Yeah, there's plenty of roach in here, like that. Beautiful fish. Okay, put it in, we'll have a, have a watch what you're doing. Try not to move on the pontoon as well, eh? Okay then. Then the camera doesn't keep going up and down. Right, we'll just put a nice piece of corn on, see? Yeah. Right. Can you see the float, Barry? Let's have a look. No, I can't make it out, Tony. Just a minute. Oh, yes, it's the ugly float, that is it. That's the one. The ugly float. What can go under? There we go. Hope I can see the float, Tony. Well, you should be able to do. You keep saying the rash is beaten. I can't make it out. Is it stuck up somewhere? It's stuck up. <laughs> well, I can't see it, Tony. Sorry to say, we're not getting it on camera too good. Can you get him now? It's coming in. No, it's not coming out, Tony. It must be the light on the water. No, I'm scanning everywhere here. No. Never mind, as long as I can see it. Okay, we'll come back in a minute. There he goes. Lovely and cool, Tony. There he is. Where's Raymond? There he goes. There's Raymond in the water.
That's freezer. Have you had enough, Barry? No, I've had another minute. Beautiful. There they go. Titanic's on his way. I've had a swim, and Tony as usual, he had to join in. Oh, he's gone under. He thinks he's a far point. You're going under again, Tony. Oh, you look like a divver float under a roach. Is he nice and cool? Lovely. Lovely, Barry. Beautiful. Oh. See that good now? Where's Raymond gone? Oh, he is. Look at the body. <laughs> Where are the shorts, Raymond? Beautiful, that. Excellent. We're getting back to the fishing now, eh? Yes. Okay, then see you again in a bit. After a nice swim, there you are, Raymond's drying off, see. <laughs> I'm the clothes hanging up, Tony. There they are, shorts, underpants. Do you enjoy that, Raymond? Fantastic. Let me just make underpants dry off and my shorts and we'll have some dinner, I think. Right. Here we have Raymond. Just playing again. He thinks he's a beaver. He's making little dams in the pond. There's Tony. <laughs> Tony's waiting for the beer to cool in the stream. I'm just about to make him out, Tony, yeah. You're going off in the spring water. Too hot, Barry. Too hot. But you'll be alright there in your little pond. Eh? You'll be alright there in your little pond. Lovely, it's yeah. good cows again, you know, my dam's broke. Well, there's everything. It's freezing, though, spring water. There's everything for kids here. Nice little beach, little pond. Oh, the beer is cool now, Tony. Well, we'll be, uh, are you ready for what? I'm ready for about six. <laughs> What's the tea? Red hot, Barry. Red hot. What are you having for tea? Huh? What are you having for tea? Sausages, I think. Oh. Sausages. What's up with Raymond? Oh, I'll have to go through and get it. It'll be freezing. Dam it up, Raymond. Really? Dam it up. Make a little dam. It's a nice little dam now, that isn't it? Well, we'll just have a beer now and we'll see you later. Old Tony, how's the beer? All right, Barry, Barry. Corona. Corona. We're catching... Down in the spring water there, ice cold. Where's Raymond's? Oh, there it is. Where's Raymond? Where is he again? He's having a cool off. Yeah, he's made his dams now, he's all right. And he comes now for his beer.
Well, you don't fall, Raymond. That's fantastic. It's not salty. Well, come on, you can have your beer now. My God, them two lads like the beer, look at them. Crawl fills it. What's, what's the matter about it? You're puffing and blowing. <laughs> I'm also done a Benny Dorm umbrella meet, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I bet that beer's not cold, uh, warm, is it? It will be in a minute when it goes down. <laughs> Good God, I'm red hot. <laughs> Burning. Wasps everywhere, you. Are you falling out here? Look tonight. Ah. Get in there. What's up? Get in there. Think I'm singing. Look at him here. Get in there. Go and swim it on him. Get in there. I'm having a minute. Nice weather, this, isn't it, Barry? Beautiful, but. Too hot. Everything is today. <laughs> Too hot, man. I'm just sitting in. All right, I'm all ready. Good, good, good. I'm gonna have salad for tea. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have salad. Are you putting some sausage on it? Because we've plenty left. We built this city. We'll have to have a sausage salad then. <laughs> 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 well, we're laid out, haven't we? Uh, this is again. We've got sausage for breakfast. Morning. Sausage for dinner and right. sausage for tea. <laughs> Make sure we're over. Beer. <laughs> Where's young lad? Is it water again? Look at him over there. He's a nutter. There he is. Having a beer in the lake. You can't beat it. Look at him. Oops, How is it, Raymond? Again. Mm. Nice and cool, Tony. You're cool too, are you? Cool dude. I'll sign off now because there's plenty of wasp about. Okay. Could do with some wasp grub. <laughs> well, that's the end of our day. Red hot. You've been at a road to the tunnel, haven't you? How many bream did you get? Three bream. Just a nice easy day today. Too hot. Oh, too hot. And a net full of big roach. We could have got a few more, Barry. We would have gone somewhere else, but we wanted an easy day. Just have a rest today. Okay, I'll return these now. Okay then. Go on, in they go. Three bream, Tony. Three bream. Dream dream. Right, get the other net out now. Dream on. Dream on. Stop rocking the pontoon. Well, that's another nice net of roach, Raymond. Fabulous. Fucking roach. We've catching all around today, have we? We'll find a decent roach. Well, I'm getting arson out. Who's them? Beautiful, aren't they? Hey? Pound roach. Not bad, then. Okay, I'll come back. Oh, that's good. I like my heat net collection, I'll film it straight. Yeah. That's what I do, Hello? Yeah, it's very good. One of the locals there. Few roach, a few roach. 
Venkl, Tomo, Venkl. Venkl. Sie haben oben zu sehen. Venkl. Here we are now, Thursday evening, approximately half past nine, we've eaten our tea. Got the tally on in the background as you can hear. We've got a flopped out on the chair. Relax. You alright, Barry? Relaxing, Ray. Relaxing. We're we having a few crumbs. What's the whole other cup on the table and another crate in the kitchen? What's Tony doing there? Well, I have a guess. <laughs> you feeling the spuds for our lobbies? Call me mate, now you're Very good. Where are we going tomorrow? Uh, we're going tomorrow. Right, tomorrow. Right, we're going tomorrow. Right, 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 tomorrow. Morning, Tony. Morning, Rebel. Where are you this morning? We're on the marina. Down at, uh, down at Rue. Oh, there's Barry. Morning. What are you doing, Barry? Taking a few photos. Yeah, taking a few. You want to take one for you? Yeah, just trying to have a little look round and see everybody where we are. A beautiful place this is. Boat moored up there. Let's have a walk down to the lake. This is the River Goodon that flows through. The town where we've been fishing. As you can see, beautiful place. Bunch of wildlife around. All the yachts in the distance. Very nice. Kiosk. Oh, we ran over there in the sun. Right, we'll see you later. We're off to fish the uh, the main lake, just a, a few yards further up. Here we are on the main lake. It's a bit further up than I've just left you. We're going to have a little look round. River Gooden flows through up, up near where them trees are there. There's a marina. All the boats. Nice in the shade at the moment with the trees. Plenty of canoes there in the distance, and we can make them out or not. Looks like some youth training camp. It's now half past nine in the morning. It's already in the mid 70s, we're expecting it to be nearly 100 today. Plenty of sun tankering. Bye bye. Here we are, Friday morning. Cemetery length. Silkeborg Lake. Barry feeding up there. There you go. Just send another ball in for you. There's a duck sitting on the way down. That was a short one. We'll just have a look at them. This is where I am, here. There's a pan round. On the doorstep, it's Buster Keaton Groom. How about it? How many balls have you made up now? There's a lot going in. Hold a lot. I'll make another bath later. You can send a stray one over to the right if you want. About 20 pounds of crumb here, Tony. A gallon of casters. A two tins of corn. And all the locks on it. I'm going to get the boom going if it's done today. Now we're in the shade. Oh. He's going on behind Barry. Some children playing football there. Teacher with them. Ball's just come down here. Barry on the head. I missed it on camera. There we are. He never flickered. 
Here come rain now, padding through the bushes, trying to find the lad. Where is he at all? There he is, he's hiding. He's little, he's a little Robin Redbreast. Oh no, he's not, this Mr. Shaw. Hello, oh, Raymond. Good morning. What are you hiding for? I'm not hiding. I'm in the shade, just sort of me. Oh. We thought it was going to do some dispository of waste behind the bush. No. I don't think he's out for it. There we go now, to the water, there's Raymond set up. Now the reed bed, brilliant sunshine this morning. Why have we gone in the shade under the trees? We'll come back to you later on. Hey Raymond, we had a bit of an accident. <laughs> well, what's out at the side of you? I don't know where else. <laughs> it's a giant mushroom. Just <laughs> rip my handle clean off my bait stand. I'm going to have to pinch another handle very from that big deep. Oh dear. I think I'll take my arm down now, Raymond. Well, here we are, it's mid -up. Well, here we are, Raymond. What are you doing now? I'm going to show you something now. The ultimate art in snatching. Go on then, let's have a watch. Yeah, I can see him. Well, that's what you call catching fish, Raymond. Right. Oh. <laughs> are you going on the tip now? Yeah, right. Millions old. Under my feet. We're going to uh, look to the maggots ferry. Let's see how long it takes to get a bite, shall we? Yeah. Not very long, I imagine. This water's a bit prolific. There we go. We'll get your tip now, then. We're on the rest. There we go, straight away. Tip settling. Have a line. I saw that then, Raymond. Did you get that? Yeah, did you manage to get it? No, I missed it. <laughs> well, aren't we doing well? Oh, that's still on the <laughs> Are we going to try again? You try again, Barry. Else I think we'll run out of film. I'll not be alone. <laughs> Listen, you can't it tomorrow. <laughs> can't it, any? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to tip. Have you got it? I've got it this time. That's better. Can you see your tip go? Yeah, it's because the camera wasn't ready, you see. You have to get it when they're ready. That's when you're on camera, you miss it. That's right. More outies. Small one for any. They're nice enough though, aren't they? Right. I'm catching those at present. Plenty of them. One more chop. Yeah, there's a tip, settling. See that? Oh, drop back. Leave it, Did... Leave it in. Well, we'll zoom on it again. Go again. Fish from a feeder, right? You just attract the ropes all the time. Oh, you got it? Right, I'm, I'm ashamed to see it. You've missed that as well. That. Well, I'll go and see how Tony's going on, shall I? <laughs> see you later. <laughs> 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 
You know me to own it. Yeah, Barry. How do you know me to own it? It's very slow. But we're having a laugh. We're not doing much. No, not a lot, no. How many bream have you got today? I've not a clue, Barry. I'm out at about 12. We're not doing so bad, though. So we have a look at your tip for a minute or two. <laughs> That's the right call. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Look at this fella here. Yeah, Put the camera on my tip, Ragnar. Can you see it? Yeah. Is he going to go? <laughs> What's he peeping out for his other eye? <laughs> Huh? You think I've got twenty slam? No, I didn't know you were going to have a little trick, yes. Huh? I'll just move the mate out of it, see if I can have that one. The little twitch? The little twitch. The little twitch there, Barry. Well, we'll try the tip again, shall we? Run the tape out of market. Yep. Well, there's not much happening there now, the Tony. You want to get a little duckling for him? No, you've had one duckling today, haven't you? Not when I get another. Well, you can have a little go. Don't get breathe. Let it fix it now. Watch it. And then get one like that. He's doing oh. dirty about it. Oh yes, a net full of duck. A net full of duck leaves. Well you can't gumble at that. We'll see you later, Tony. Yes, bye. Right. Here we have Ragnar now, Waddler fishing. Ragnar Waddler, they call him. Is it? Yeah. You want to throw, Barry? There you go, there he's into another. There you go. Here it comes, there it is. Oh, he's dropped it. <laughs> what colour's your float, Barry? Black. Black beauty? Yeah, it's windy, it's trouble. Well, you like it, black beauty. You like them going down, don't you? Yeah. No, we call it beauty, your little beauty. Here we go now, watch him again here in action. There he goes. Right to him. They've nicknamed him Crone, son of Ragnar. Return from Valhalla. One a minute. Got a lift back there, Tony. I'm not bothering. See, just leave it and let it go. It's like teasing a fog. It's only one of the Netball. I bet it's like being on a Viking raid, isn't it, Barry? Well, I don't know. I thought that Oh. Not a parking leg. There you go, in again. Absolutely solid, John, with this. 
There it is. Right, John. Oh, another to show you What's the action on this fella? There you go. Oh, dear me. Eat your uh, tight bob nut. I just watch him catch his last fish now. That's the one now. We're going to tangle the surf again, George, aren't we? We will. There's a skull of a pike. It's a 30-odd, 40-odd pound, that. This side. Here we are now, back on Barrett. He's got out of his tandle. We're just watching for a minute or so. On. There you go, he's in straight away. In straight away, there it is. It's coming across the wall. Right, you are. Nice rope. Turn it. One bag of today. One bag of All on the rope. He's telling lies, he's putting about three on there. Well. Really yeah, right. Straight through this, Gordon. Gordon, have you catch this pike at the back of me, Barry, or what? Yeah. Six pound line? Oh, it's in straight away. Oh. Oh, that one. Bump that one. And right tip there, just keep an eye on it. Oh! Well, Tony, your tip just went, didn't it, when you were watching me? Yes. I gather you've got a bream on, haven't you? I think it's off. Not a bike. Here we go. Keep coming in, Barrett, there. Get rid of There you go. There you go. Line, line, beach him, beach the bream, beach of the bream. There you go, Barry. I'll just tear the hook and then we'll have a little, a little glance at him. Just caught him in the lip. There you go. There you go, Barry. Beautiful, beautiful tone of those. I'll just show you a little shake now, see. Get him, Joe. Get him in. You abuse the bream, Tony, don't you? <laughs> That's what we've paid all the money for. You abuse him. <laughs> OK, we'll sign off now, shall right, we? we'll see you later, <laughs> OK, bye. Bye. Well, here we are back with Raymond. You can get him one or two, Raymond, haven't you? Yeah. I'll zoom in on your tip, let's see if I can get a bite. Have you got it? Yeah. What is it? Oh, well, the rod's bending nice there. The only uh, winter adapter of me. Oh. See the call there. Zoomed on the fish now. Rolling rods, have a look. Oh, that's a beautiful fish, Raymond. Well found. Try to pick a few more up now. Two line bites as well. Okay, I'll sign off now. I'm going back to my waggling. Here's Barry, Barry now floating. There you can see his float. Try my best to get on it. Struggling a little bit, but I can just see it make it out there. Mm. 
Because the duck's going past it. Well, what's happened, Barry? Oh, there it went. There's this float there. Snake it out. Oh, there it went. Are you Tim Barry? Yeah, Okay, we'll stay on it. Have a little look where we're fishing at the moment. There's a lake in front of us. Very nice. There they go right in. Let's see if we can find where this float land. Can't seem to see that one. Oh, there it is. Oh, what's this? Mr. Fields, maybe. Scan going very quickly. Not run over. Oh, what's he got now? It's a bream. It's a bream. It's a bream. It's only a bream. Where is it? It's only a puppet. Where is he with it? Oh, there's his line. Here it is. Oh, a nice bream. There it goes. There we go. Here we go again. We're in again. We're in again. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh my ripping. Oh, oh, oh. Hold him up for me, please, Tony. Please. There you go. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, I am. What's, what's, what's for our tea? Lobbies. Lobbies? Oh. 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 <laughs> There's Rosie. We'll see if we can find this float again. A quick look out there. Um, I'm going to find it now, Barry. Just give me a moment. Oh, I've got it, yes. Oh, it went. We'll hold it in the same spot, Barry. See if we can just uh, get it on there. No, oh, I've lost that one very. Oh, no, I just got onto him. There he is. Centre of our screen. Follow him up with her very long. Oh, lift bike there, very, yeah, so it. There it goes, and he's in. Come here, Tim Barry. Yeah, he's on. On a small one. What are they, Barry? Are you eating roach? Roach, yeah. There he is. Hundreds of them, really. State to him. Okay, see you later. Hi, Dol. Uh, this is my neck coming out now. I've not gone in because I've got my uh, trainers on. Let the lad take it out. Here we go. There you go. Be brief. What have you got there, Tony? About 20 odd brief. 20 odd there we go. Got one of our bestest. 
Uh, we want to Barry's net. This is Barry's net. He's a good head of rock today, Barry. Been roaching today, Barry. Yeah. Here we go. There you go. Good net of rope. Yeah, it's rope today, it's only for me. There you yeah. are. Enjoyed it. It's fantastic. Nice net. Turn them back now. And there they go. This is Raymond's net coming out now. Right on to left with it. Here we go. Barry to give him a lift. There we go. Pine net of fish. Raymond. Bream and Roche. Alright, we'll turn them now. Nice pleasant afternoon fishing. There we go. Yeah. We have been fishing on the Sandy Beach here. There's one beach there it is. Ream Barry returned it steady. Oh it slipped out of his hand, kicked it in. God almighty. Could have been a footballer this fella. Drop up now and go and have some tea, some lobbies, a few beers, go to bed again. Last day tomorrow, bed and breakfast. We'll clean up and we'll see you later. Well, here we are now, Saturday morning. Just unloaded the van. Ready for a clean out. Just want to have our breakfast, clean the digs. All in all, the week has been excellent. We've had a few nice easy days, you could well turn up every day in this country. The water is absolutely infested. We'll just go around the digs now and see the lads for the breakfast. There now, washing up. Bit of cookery for the breakfast. Get the cookery ready for our breakfast, though. There you go. And Barry just passing through the nice empty crate again. Put the crown it. Really got into it. Basket ready. Let's have a look at the lads now. Oh, there you go, here's the boys. Oh. Having breakfast, see? Oh. Last breakfast in this digs. It's eating up. Now, hey, Barrett, Raymond, morning. Good morning. What, uh, what do you think of the week's fishing? Excellent, brilliant. Superb. Best we've ever had. Yeah, man. Excellent. So I'm well on my par with Holland, if not better. Different type of fishing, though. Yeah? I believe we're going to be back Holland next year, is that right? That's what we Definitely won't be Ireland. <laughs> anyway, come on, your breakfast is going to cool. uh, I'll just get my breakfast there now. Fishing in this country is well worth me paying a visit. Like I said before, it's absolutely infested with fish. Under pound a day, you told me. No problem. Easy, Barry. Huh? Easy hundred pound. Easy hundred pound a day if you want it. 
You only need have a rest. And like I said before, these last couple of days we've, we've had a nice little easy couple of days fishing. Could turn up every day if we wanted. You don't need to rush to when you've done it. It gets boring after a while. Well, we'll just do the last day now, a few hours fishing. And we're re ready for the ferry, for all. We'll catch you later on. Here we are, a lake called Bygome Lake. That's where he's floats, he's doing a bit of float ledging this morning. This lake's only about three foot deep, it's absolutely stuffed with fish. Teeming with bream and roach. How's it going, Barry? Not too bad. It's about five bream, roach. Oh, nope, there it went there. Another roach. Another roach. Seem to like your roach fishing, Barry. All the roach. Have a look at him. Beautiful fish. Those are only the babies. There's some monsters in here. A little look around the lake. There's Mr. Fields here at the side of us in the next peg. It says in the book that if you can't catch a fish or chalk on this lake, there's something wrong with your arm. Let's see if we can find Barry's float again. There it is. Oh, I think that was a slight lift bite. I think it was a slight lift bite. There's no room. Yeah, it's the... It'll go in a minute. There, there it goes. We'll leave it, so we'll let it go. Right, you let it go, Barry. Lift bites, so just playing with it. The small lake, it tows around very fast, so Barry's opted for the float ledger. Yeah? I'm fishing a straight waggler with three BBs anchored to the bottom. Try to slow it up for those bream. You may have got that down there, Yeah, they might have been Okay, I'll leave you there, Barry. We're not looking at Mr. Fields is doing. Morning, Tony. Morning, Raymond. On Bygone Lake. How are you doing? I'm not on so bad. A couple of bream, a few ropes. Missed a few, bumped a few bream off. It's been very shallow. Yeah, you do tend to do that. But it's a good lake again, isn't it? Yeah, I've got... Uh, Colored with fish. The day. I think I'm going to have to reduce that depth a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. First. Much too deep though. Will it go, Tony, when you cast in? Probably. We'll be able to see the water. Well, we'll have a little look then. There you go, can you see it? We just make it out, oh it is into a fish straight away. You got dip then. What is it Tom? Have you missed him? Missed okay, I'll come back to you later. I know. You know I've done. Yeah. Well, really. well, here we are. Back with Tony. I see you bagging up Tony. Yeah, it's one a throw, Barry. One a throw. Three a throw. Unbelievable. See if you can see your float. Well, if you can't see that, you must be a bad camera. No, I think I've got it, Tony, but it's the same as Raymond. Didn't stand out yeah, too well. See it? I've got it there now, yeah. You really hate that. You missed it. I'll get one on there. I didn't see where that landed, Tony. There you are. You pick it up, Barry. Must have it there somewhere, Tony. Some bream I throw, man. Yeah, I've got it there. Oh, 
Yeah, I can see it though. I'll leave it, I'll leave it, see if it goes under. There you go. And then we are. I see you've got that one. Prima throw. And I really mean it. Prima throw. Here we go. Here we go. Go, yeah. One of those every time I go in. Three maggots, twelve zoot. Three pound bottle. Just pop it in the net. There you go. Okay. We'll see you a bit later, Tony. Okay. Yeah, no, another bring Tony. Yeah, two two young assistants here with me. That fish is bigger than them, Tony. I'm learning them. What who are they? Two young Danes. Two Vikings. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay then, we're going to leave the net running, Tony, we're going to enter the nets now to dry them off. Can you move your rod? I hate <laughs> Where are you taking it? Here. Oh. Well, Tony's got a shed full of bream today. Hey. Right. What about that for a net? Yeah, I'll do them. Yeah, I know. It's a monsters. Yeah. This lake is supposed to be Skimmer Lake. Okay, I'll sign off with Tony. Well here we are, we do Raymond's peg now. Just put it on stand back as the battery's running low now. Well, that's another nice about net. <laughs> A beautiful net that. Right, Danish. Put in those back now. Sweet. Well, here we are now, Sunday morning. Just had our bed and breakfast in here. We're making our way to the ferry later on. Ready for home. This is the place where we had the bed and breakfast. And uh, to sum up the week, brilliant, that's all I can say. Plenty of fish. Bags of fish, actually. We just found right now and see the lads. Morning, lads. Morning, morning. Well, he's right. Can you get in together? You know, don't be, you know, like super glue. Is that better now? That's better now. What, what do you think now of the, the whole week? Oh, it's been brilliant now, I think. Good fishing, good jackbait, good company. You can't beat this, place. It's unbelievable. Fisher throw, bream roach, whatever you want. The bagging lamb. Just brilliant. Best we've had this, man. Better day. Yeah, man. I have to uh, agree what Barry said. Excellent fishing. Everywhere you went, just throw in, catch a fish. What more do you want? Weather's been great. A bit too warm or anything. We've had a good laugh, a few good drinks. What more do you want from life? We'll go up now to our ladies. That's it. Right, that, that Goodbye. It's a Wilbury trip, 95. 95. We'll see you in 96, Holland. OK, then. All right. Time off now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye.
draw, rather like a mustard blaster, I do... <laughs> <laughs> when I was a little lad, in my wee... <laughs> when, I, when I walk down the street, people think I'm following them in an accordion. But when I was, when I was a little boy, my, my old granny, she used to, when I go to school, she used to stick a mustard, mustard plaster on my chest before I went to school. It was embarrassing. All the other kids used to wipe their ham sandwiches on me. <laughs> this. So, but, but there are, it, this is a very intellectual audience here tonight. In here, in here tonight, there's an IQ of about 188. <laughs> Between them, of course. This. <laughs> hey, I got some marvellous education to use last week. Huh? Last week, what day, it was Tuesday, Tuesday this week. I came downstairs to get the post, which is a good trick in a bungalow. And I, <laughs> I picked it up and I found they've informed me by letter, by letter that I've, I've won a prize in the Reader's Digest draw. No, 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 no. I nearly won a prize in the Reader's Digest draw. Not only that, but my name was specially selected from all the other people I've seen. You're actually looking at a person who's going through to stage two. I'm going to America with Hoover. Yes. Yes. I may be going to Scunthorpe with Electrolux, but I don't know. That is who's <laughs> Even in a marvellous magazine, folks, the Reader's Digest, a mine of useless... I like, I like reading... I love reading the medical articles. I'm potty at anything medical. I wasn't always. I used to think a placebo was a Spanish thing. Twenty-two. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Uh, we keep saying it, but this is a superb performance from Peter Ebden. And I suppose you'd have to say it's even Stevens now who's going to win the semi-final. He hasn't had the chance he's been looking for. He's missed a few that he normally wouldn't. Will he get one before the finish? Yes, I think this match, Dennis, has developed into one of the great matches. It's got everything that a super snooker match needs. It's got high quality snooker, break building. It's got the fight back. 36. And it's got the people on the edge of the seats and far from sure of the outcome. And just looking at Peter Ebden's breaks from being at five down in the 14th, a 54 break, the 15th frame, a 44 49. and 87 break. And here he is already at 49. 50.
just once. One more red. Fifty-six. Check of the scoreboard. There, you can see. Fifty-seven. any chances even at this stage of the frame even though it looks all over still having the cue ball cleaned and Stephen now resigned to a final frame <laughs> decider I'm just taking up what you were saying about breaks Dennis just a quick look at the statistics and uh, 63. We've had 16 frames and we'd have 24 breaks over 30, including the 99. So it's been pretty good snooker. Stephen stays in his chair. So, well, what is happening here? Eight frames apiece and everything to play for. Just listen to it. They're loving it, and I hope you are. This to decide who plays Ken Doherty in the final tomorrow. The last frame, the decider. And immediately, a half chance, Stephen, in the final frame. He knocks a fair percentage of that type of shot in. <laughs> but as you see, he's got the right pace on the cue ball. Cameron on the brown has made things awkward for Stephen Hendry. One. And that's a great pot being hampered. one but he's seen it all before done it all before what a match Sixteen. Seventeen. So many times in the past we've seen Stephen Henry 24. when threatened produce something special. Is that going to happen again? Twenty-five. Well, Dennis in the pack this time, four ball on the pink. Could be vital. 
Absolutely, Ray. If this works out, be a great chance. Amazing. Stephen Absolutely Henry amazing. 25. Yeah, he got it all wrong. Didn't get the pot, didn't get the cannon the way he wanted. Where the blue is and look where the black is so it's going to be a scrappy deciding frame unfortunately but it's going to be very very exciting Yes, he's a bit off with the queuing, and uh, I think he needs to exaggerate the angle of the red to miss the blue. Uh, just the one point doesn't give him too much of an advantage. get a snooker it would be very unlikely that Stephen would leave him any chance of a pot green ball picture of one Generous round of applause, but it's not a snooker. Peter can get to the red, to the right of the blue. Might bring the blue into play with this safety shot.
made absolutely sure that the cue ball got away from the danger area. Well, there's a half chance for Stephen Hendry here. I don't think he can get to the one near the pocket, but the other one will pass that. It's going close to the corner pocket. Gentlemen, please don't call out. This game is a little more difficult than it looks. Believe me. Let them concentrate, please. Referee just asking the crowd to uh, be a little bit quiet, but it's quite understandable. This is a very exciting part of the match, and I think as long as they don't make noise when you're on the shot, there's no real problem. No, I think it helps to create a good atmosphere, Dennis, and uh, the players are obviously... Hyped up. Now then, one good positional shot to these reds. Got it. Four. And if he can't get through to the right corner, well, that's not a good shot from Peter. Nothing there. Yes, red was never going to be straightforward, uh, but he should have got onto a red. And the only red he can get back down the table off is the one near the uh, left side cushion there. He wants to get over on the bottom cushion somewhere behind the green. Peter Ebden, four. Stephen debating whether to take this cut on. I think he'll go for it, Ray. Yes, I think it's somewhat uh, a finer cut than it possibly looks, but he hasn't got a lot of alternative. Mustn't hit it thick, though, and run into the red if he misses it. Oh, what a great shot. One. And I've got a feeling that uh, Peter will be behind the yellow in the jaws of that pocket. Going behind the black. Stephen Henry won. Tell you what, Ray, you need a little bit of nerve and touch to play that shot at this stage of a match. Deciding frame in the semi final of the UK Championships. get to the red near the blue but almost certainly to leave another one on a 
but he could perhaps just slide past the blue off the back cushion or to the red that's nearest the back cushion there. It's a bit low and hasn't had it. Yes, Ray, I think he, uh, if he had to listen to you there and just played it a bit slower, he could have uh, maybe got out of that situation. Just thinking at this stage in a match, anything's missable, but I never expected Stephen to miss that. Well, from probably the best middle pot pocket potter in the game. I've got to agree with you, Dennis. Incredible. And if he does go ahead and loses this match, that will be the shot he'll remember more than any. just the pink and possibly the green ball to play with as regards the colours <coughs> yes Ray and when he pots the pink might just be tied up with those three reds not quite sure but we'll find out shortly Seven. Well, I think that's a pretty good shot here. He's got onto the red to the left corner and uh, a chance to disturb the red and the pink, and he just wants a little bit of luck. Just needs to push the pink into a potable position. Eight. You could hear a pin drop in the guild hall at the moment. potted it in the middle, thought Peter he could Anthony. get a better position playing it to the corner, but he was a long way away, and uh, first time tonight, Peter Ebden shows signs of pressure. One. 
And speaking of pressure, there's never been a player born that doesn't suffer from it. Seven. I'm just thinking uh, this match is worthy of any final. Absolutely superb match. I still think we're going to have a superb final regardless who gets through. Eight. Yes, it's going to be a tea for either player who loses. It's going to be a loser. I'll feel a bit sorry for the loser this evening. Pockets are getting that little Stephen bit tighter. Eight. Who said these pockets were easy, Dennis? Certainly none of the players in this position. Yes, it's such a tense deciding frame, but it has been a bit of a scrappy frame, and that was because the colours went safe early on, but I think that even adds to the tension. One. There's one thing, Ray, I couldn't even stand, and that's a black ball finish. Those don't do you any good at all. My old heart struggles. So often at Seven. this stage, you just cannot get the cue ball into the easy position. He's still on the red, but again, he's going to have to use the rest. And with that 15-point lead that Stephen's got is pretty useful, the way the balls are situated. Green on the right-hand side cushion, brown on the far cushion, and blue on the left-hand side. So, you know, he's still even money in this frame. He'll get another chance, I'm sure. Eight. Now I think it's imperative that Peter gets six points here. And if he can't get nicely on the red, make sure that his uh, opponent is snookered, if at all possible. But he needs those six points. Fourteen. Peter Ebden, 14. And I didn't play that one as well as he would have liked.
Well, he's pushed the red towards the pocket. And they're not easy at this stage. Having the red ball clean this time. Good shot. It's amazing, the amount of color on their spots. Yes, I was just thinking, whoever wins this frame, they're not going to do it in one visit, Dennis. It's going to be ball by ball and graft all the way to the winning post. Crowd. Just move a little. I think it is a chance, but it is. But it's uh, well, not required at this stage. Well, I've seen Stephen Hendry under lots of pressure in the past, but I've never seen him miss shots like that. He's missed a few, a good few in this match. Certainly outwardly, you would say that Peter Ebden is the cooler, perhaps the coolest person in the audience or in the auditorium, outwardly. And I'm sure he's feeling the same tension deep down. So the final frame of the match is the longest we've had, 28 minutes. But this is a half chance at a pot. It may be easy to have a go at the cut. And Red. Well, I've never seen so much ball cleaning going on. Peter's having the red cleaned this time. And quite rightly, if he feels there's any chance of getting a bad contact. 
is trying to eliminate that. Definitely take the pot on. Well, he screwed back to give himself a little angle on the Seven. yellow to run round the doors. But he'll, he'll do well to get this close to the green. He may play the star across. We'll see. I think the ball that's going to decide this semi-final will be the blue ball. I'm sure both players will feel that. Yes, I think Peter's going to have a go for the double though, Dennis. I think that was quite right. He had every chance that it'd go safe. So one point in front, Stephen. Peter Abden. Well, I'm sure Stephen Hendry didn't intend to move the blue. No, what a shot. This could be the biggest shot of Peter Ebden's career. seat very quickly can he get on the round three From him. He's psyched up now. Very rarely you see Steve Hendry like this. This is going to mean so much to him to win the semi final. So just well, think, but what a tremendous battle this man has put up and everything possible. One error 18, in the 17th frame of this wonderful semi-final has cost Peter Edson victory. Stephen Henry going through to the final by nine frames to eight. And the crowd stand and applaud a wonderful match. So here they are then, the two we're watching all day tomorrow in the final of the United Kingdom Championship. But my goodness, what a semi-final we've seen here tonight. Um, Stephen Hendry, as you walked in here, you puffed a bit. You puffed a bit out there, didn't you? Yeah, it was um, <coughs> really, I, I, in, the, in the end, I didn't deserve to win, I don't think. I think, um, you know, I, I missed so many easy balls in the last, you know, couple of frames that Peter should have really put me away. But... Um, you know, I'm sure it was good stuff to watch. It was. You had a great start this afternoon. You were roaring away. Yeah, oh, I'm playing well, but uh, I just got a little bit careless at the end. I missed a couple, 
two or three more easy balls than, than I should. And, uh, you know, it, it was disappointing. And, and, and probably when both of us look back at the last frame, we'll both be disappointed in the balls we missed. You missed a pink. I missed a few. <laughs> I missed a few. <laughs> yes. Peter revels in this situation, and he gets out there, whoa, bang, bang, bang. Yeah. And uh, I think as soon as he came back at you this afternoon at 5-3, he, he obviously felt there was a great chance there. Yeah, I thought he'd won the match at the end of the <laughs> frame there. But uh, no, Peter's attitude is fantastic. You know, he never gives up. And, uh, you know, he's probably set one of the best attitudes in the game. You know, when he was 8-5 down, and just completely, you could see how, how hard he was concentrating. Mm -hmm. And I knew I would have to make a big break to win the match. Um, then got to the final frame and, and, and obviously, you know, I had a couple of chances and, you know, chances that I normally would have put away in one visit. So I was disappointed in that respect, but uh, there, was, there was a bit of pressure out there also. Pretty relieved to win. Absolutely, yeah. I'm delighted to be in the final again. So you've got this chap over here. Uh, you've been sitting and watching it all night. What did you think? I thought, it, well, it was very exciting, I think, for the crowd. They really got involved in it and it was good for, you know, the punters watching on the television, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah, Stephen said, like as he said in the last frame, like the bottom had a lot of chances, and uh, you know I think Peter, Peter would have been favourite going into the last frame, but mm. you know it was just one of those games, I suppose. The last frame is always very, very tense, and it can go either way. You've had a couple of matches against this fellow, I think six and all, and you've got two wins. Uh, what was the big one up in Scotland, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. We had a very good match up there, but we've always had good matches. We've they've always been very, very close, and uh, mm. I think tomorrow will be the same, and I'm looking mm. forward to it. I don't know if I can see the two of you together, because this could be interesting. Um, you're both from the same sort of uh, stable. You've both got the same manager. Hence the sweater. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like motor racing, is it, where you work in the team? Are there any team orders? Well, we don't have any tar cars to test drive, so we're all right. But uh, no, we, we do get on OK, and uh, you know, we get on OK off the table. Yeah. You know, we are a team, but uh, sometimes. <laughs> But, uh, we're not, to it? We're not yeah, like it, it should be great. I think we both play the same type of game. You know, whoever gets in first, and, and we both Missing like to get in. Balls. Yeah, we both <laughs> get in, and uh, we like, like to make big breaks and win the frames in one visit. So it should be good stuff. Okay, thanks for being with us tonight. No Enjoy it. I'm sure we will. Cheers. I have to tell you, we recorded that interview. No, we keep them here till uh, what is it, quarter past two in the morning when they're playing the final tomorrow. But it will be here, and this is the lineup. For the Raw Live Assurance United Kingdom Championship final over 19 frames, Stephen Hendry of Scotland versus Ken Doherty from the Republic of Ireland. As I say, the best of 19 frames with a big prize of £70,000 and the second most important title in the game. We just received our first Christmas card. Thank you very much, G. Motterzed from Gatley. Don't know if you're Mr. or Mrs., but it has arrived. And in view of the very late hours we spend here at the snooker, Thank you very much for putting a picture of me on the front cover. That's just how I feel. Sc script and all. See you tomorrow. Don't be late. The final. <laughs>
Well, now we're about to close down here on BBC One, but don't forget BBC Radio, they're still going strong. There's an essential mix on Radio One at the moment. Charles Nove is busy night riding on Radio Two. And for cricket fans, Radio Five Live has coverage of the third day of the first test in Australia. But back here on BBC One at around about 19 minutes past two, we're going to close down for the night. So for the, from the whole team and me, Peter Offer, very good night to you.